the nation has in recent weeks experienced power outages. Some sections of the public have called for a timetable to allow them to plan effectively. At this year's May Day celebrations, Secretary General of TUC, Dr. Yaoban, expressed concern about the outages. It is regrettable that the people of Ghana have to experience doom so again after all what we went through in the past. Please, do something about Dumso now. Responding to that, the president, Nanado Dankwe Kufuado, said there will be no power crisis under his watch. Over the past few days, we have witnessed stable electricity supply across the country with no load shedding reported anywhere yesterday. For the past seven years, we have worked tirelessly to keep the lights on, and I am confident that the unfortunate era of doom so will not return. He also spoke about initiatives to address macroeconomic challenges. We're seeing strong signs of macroeconomic stability and economic recovery. Government has never been of the view that the IMF bailout package would be a sufficient solution to our economic circumstances. It is important to stress, however, that it represents a crucial step towards our ongoing economic recovery. However, some organized labor unions have expressed disappointment with the president's comment on the power crisis. First gentleman of the republic, and he's saying that Dumso is not coming back. But we are already having a feel of uh, uh, Dumso. If by the president's assessment of Dumso, he feels that what we are already experiencing is not Dumso, I think what we are also feeling has a semblance of uh, Dumso. The issue of Dumso, the truth be told, I am a, an ordinary Ghanaian citizen, and I know for a fact that Dumso is real. And so it is in the interest of the president and his government to recognize that Ghanaian citizens need a credible timetable. We as workers and citizens of this country, do so is one of the things that is going to affect our productivity. And so we have told him that the challenge is a reality. We all know we are feeling it already. He said it will be of the past. We hope so and we believe so that it will happen and that all the efforts that they are putting in place, he knows, we don't know. And we are watching, Ghanaians are watching and we pray that it happens the way he's saying it.